So welcome viewers, I am Dr. Shayan Banerjee, an ENT specialist by profession. Today, welcoming you all to my channel ENT Whispers. Today we are going to discuss regarding a very common complaint with which patients usually come to us at OPDs or at emergencies. Patients Complaining of earache is a very common presentation which we encounter in our day-to-day -day practice. So without wasting further time, let's get on started. So to start with the first thing is the definition of this earache. You must say, sir, earache is the pain in the ear only. What to know more than that? No. Earache may be of two categories. It can be primary earache, which is the pain inside the ear because of the disease within the ear itself. Secondly, it is the Pain around the ear, which is also felt inside the ear only. Patients complain of ear ache only. But it is actually because of pain in some other adjacent organs, which is getting referred to the ears. Thus, ear ache can be of two categories. One is primary otalgia or primary ear ache. Secondly, the referred otalgia or secondary otalgia or earache. Primary causes include causes like infections inside the external or the middle ear. So, infections in the external ear may be of bacterial or fungal in origin known as otitis externa or otomycosis. Secondly, it can also be because of just an impacted wax within the external artery canal. This impacted wax causes severe excruciating pain, mostly in children, but also in the adult population. So, this primary otalgia causes, these primary otalgia causes are very much common. Secondly, there can be causes like furuncal or folliculitis inside the cartilaginous part of this external artery canal, which is also very, very, very common and causing a very much discomfort to the patient. Now, there can be infections inside the middle ear following an acute attack of cough and cold episode, which may be resulting in some kind of pus or fluid accumulation inside the middle ear behind the intact tympanic membrane. And these kind of pains, as in acute otitis media, has got a very much characteristic feature, which is Nothing but the pain getting reduced once the discharge starts. So, patients preliminary complain of earache in the primary stages. Once the discharge starts, the pain reduces. This is characteristic of acute otitis media. This helps us to rule out different differential diagnosis. There are some other causes of primary otology also. Like, first one is just the inflammation and infection of the tympanic membrane, which is known as myringitis. Patients presenting with ear ache, but not with ear discharge mostly. Next one is some kind of foreign bodies being stuck in the ears. May present to us in emergencies or maybe in the outpatient departments, if 
they are being stuck for long. These are some of the neglected cases mostly. So now, if the foreign body is kept for long, then children may also present to us with some kind of ear discharge because of the chronic infection being caused because of that foreign body within the ear. There are also causes like perichondritis or chondritis involving the cartilage of the spina that is the outer ear where the spina is actually red, inflamed and congested along with sometimes may present to us with some kind of fluid accumulation under the skin. In our terms, we know that this is perichondrial effusion or perichondrial hematoma. This kind of perichondrial effusion or perichondrial hematoma or pinna hematoma mostly are result of some kind of trauma, maybe blunt trauma. So, lastly, there is also one more reason behind this kind of primary ear aches because of the ear causes and that is nothing but the malignancy involving the pinna or the external artery canal mostly. Now, let us start with the part of the secondary otalgia or referred ear pains. As we have already discussed that these pains are coming from the region adjacent to the ears but actually not because of the ear itself. Most common causes include tonsillitis, pharyngitis, even dental pains, dental caries, gum inflammation that is known as gingivitis, as well as there can also be a pain arising out of this very area, this very joint near the ear which is nothing but the joint between this mandible that is the lower jaw with the skull known to us as temporomandibular joint arthritis or temporomandibular joint arthralgia. So, these kind of pains arising out of this temporomandibular joint arthritis or the pain because of the elongated bony process behind this very joint known as the styloid process of the skull which impinges upon the glossopharyngeal nerve, that is the ninth cranial nerve, is also causing referred otalgia. Now, there are some causes like cancers involving the larynx, mainly we have of the vocal cords level, that is as per we say, supraglottic carcinoma larynx, may lead to ERX. There is also some causes like cervical spondylosis or cervical spondylitis where the neck pain getting radiating to the ears. As well as patients um, may complain of ERX associated with facial pains that is the atypical facial pains sometimes. And lastly but not at all the least that is the sinusitis pain mainly within this maxillary sinus region that is in the cheeks region getting referred to the ears. So, all of these causes, all of these causes may lead to the ear X. That is mostly the secondary ear X or referred ear otology. So, from today onwards, my earnest request to you all is that please don't self-medicate yourself. Don't put ear drops blindfoldedly. Ear drops is not the ultimate cure of the ear pain. If you experience any kind of ear pain, first it has to be confirmed that whether this is primary ear ache or secondary ear ache, and then only you will need to be checked by any nearby ENT consultant and take medications as per his or her advice. Because any and every pain in the ear may not be because of the ear disease itself. It may be a sign of some other areas getting inflamed or infections in some other parts of our body adjacent to the ears. It may even be a preliminary sign of cancer involving the larynx, the tongue, that is the 
mostly in the part of the base of the tongue region. So that is a posterior one third of the tongue. So avoid self medication. Get checked by ENT consultants. Continue to be healthy for your lifetime. Thank you very much for your patient listening.